Today's uh, topic discussion is around CI deduplication. And so why did we choose uh, CI deduplication as a use case for analysis to work with? Well, uh, handling duplicate CIs is, uh, for my CMDB owners out there, one of the most one of the more painful uh, CMDB maintenance tasks uh, for a CMDB owner. Uh, our CMDB should be considered the source of truth, and whenever there is a, a duplicate CI um, that is counterintuitive or uh, goes against um, the CMDB needing to be our single source of truth. Um, and for many of us, the, um, the CMDB producing duplicate CIs is almost inevitable. Uh, for a lot of us, we have uh, multi-source CMDBs or multi-source CMDB, and which means that our data that's populating the CMDB is coming from multiple sources. And sometimes we don't use um, the right coalesce, the, the, the right primary key, the right uh, uh, unique identifier, and that, that sometimes results in, in, in duplicate CIs. So what I'll walk through is how uh, our solution, our, our custom solution using Now Assist uh, would be able to automate this process of being able to uh, find duplicate CIs, um, compare the CIs, decide what CI should be considered the main CI, and uh, being able to merge the more important uh, attributes uh, into this main CI. So what I'm showing in my screen is the CMDB workspace. And so I'm... Uh, the CMDB owner here at RapDev, and I'm working from the CMBD workspace. And one of the first things that you see is uh, a set of deduplication tasks, as well as duplicate CIs. And so I'll navigate over to the deduplication dashboard, but I'll I'll uh, stop right there and I'll, I'll I'll explain where these duplication tasks come from. So the CMDB health uh, runs a job every single day and it identifies the completeness, correctness, and compliance. The correctness is uh, a scheduled job or there's a scheduled job behind it that identifies the duplicate task. So let's let's go ahead and, and see what, uh, what I uh, walk into um, when I start my day. And so I'll go ahead and navigate over to the deduplication task and you'll see that there is around 12 different set of tasks, some of them open, some of them closed. And so I'll, I'll go ahead and, and click on, on one of these and I'll see that the duplicate CI was uh, created and a result of a set of CIs uh, being identified as potential duplicates. And so I'll, I'll go ahead and, and start our uh, manual effort and pop that open here. Right. So as you can see, there's there's five separate steps into this process. Not only do I have to identify uh, what the main CI is, I have to go through and identify, compare and contrast between what values I should merge. And um, that takes a good amount of effort. And so uh, the logic behind merging these attributes is, well, which one's the main CI and which ones are the duplicate CIs? Do those duplicate CIs have values within it that were updated um, a lot earlier um, than our main CI? And so there's a lot, a lot of logic that goes behind that. And as a CMDB owner, if I have 12 tasks, uh, th this means that I, I, I will have to do this process 12 different times. And um, I have to go into the CMDB, I have to search each one of these duplicates, and I have to compare and contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take a step back. And instead of using this wizard, instead of comparing and contrasting on my own, I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, now assist, assist with this. So what I'll do is I'll kick off our CMDB correctness, uh, correctness job. And so that's that's gonna create uh, duplicate CI task for us. So let me let me go ahead and, and do that.
All right, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back one more time. And as you can see, there's a deduplication template already started. And so what does that mean? And so that, that means that uh, our correctness job identified new duplicate task. And so instead of sending it over to my queue, it goes ahead and sends it over to now assist. And so what now assist does, it compares the CIs within that duplicate uh, CI task and determines on its own which of those CIs is the main CI and which one's the duplicate. Then it goes ahead and merges those two together. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and move us over to a deduplication task that has already been resolved. So as you can see here, um, this duplication task has already been set to a state of close complete. And if we look through our work notes, we'll see that our now assist, uh, now assist skill plus our script include, we're able to input uh, comments into this duplicate task uh, to keep the CMDB owner or anyone assigned this task uh, up to date on what just occurred here. So a duplication task has now been resolved. Um, the audit results share the CIs that were merged together and the duplicate CI remediation um, is the template or the, the, the remediation step that now assist uh, initialized. So go ahead and click into each of these CIs and you can see that the CI has been set to a state of retired. It, the, the, the now assist skill has identified that this is not the main CI and that it's actually a duplicate. Instead of deleting, we'll go ahead and just set it to retire. Uh, and non-operational, so we won't um, catch this again as, as, as a duplicate CI. Our main CI uh, not only stays in an install status of installed, but it was able to uh, up, be updated uh, with attributes from our duplicate CI. So I'm the C CMDB owner, I walk into work, it's nine in the morning, and I see that 12 of my duplication tasks were created, but they were also resolved. And so I can go through each one and check the logic and see, um, see what was the, the, the train of thought behind now assist and, and being able to resolve those. Um, so that's, that's how now assist would be able to assist us in maintaining the CMDB. Uh, but let's, let, let's go into the, nitty gritty and see what uh, analysis looks like uh, from the back end. All right. So this correctness job is run every day. Uh, its job is to identify duplicate CIs and uh, once those duplicate CIs are created, there's a business rule that sends over the information that's within that duplicate CI task and sends it over to a script include. The script include then sends the information over to now assist. And so now assist is given a skill input. And so what's a skill input? An input is a piece of information that the skill has in order to work with. Um, and so in this case, we gave it the set of CIs to compare and contrast. And uh, if you look uh, at the prompt, you'll see that there's some prompt engineering involved with this skill. I had to give uh, instructions to our analysis skill, uh, telling the analysis skill that it's, it's a piece of AI that's assisting us with our deduplication efforts. And so what I wanted to return to me is a set of merging attributes, um, what CI is the main CI, and what was its reasoning behind this. So I'll go ahead and run a test just so we could see what now assist returns us with. And so you'll see that uh, it not only chose what the main CI was, 
it showed us the merging attributes. And so those merging attributes could be uh, the first discovered date, installed date, assigned, serial number, and so on. And it also returns to us a justification. And so that justification gives us uh, the logic behind now skill. And so that justification will tell us, hey, um, I noticed that the duplicate CI had a piece of uh, information on a field that was more up to date than our main CI. And so as a CMDB owner, it's, it's, it's a piece of information that is, is, is essential in order for me to feel reassured that um, the accuracy uh, of AI is, is, is in the ballpark. Um, so that's, that's, that's what goes on in the background. Again, um, there's a job that runs every day, um, sends over information to NowSkill. NowSkill is given a set of instructions and it ultimately returns us a piece of vital information in order to remediate this deduplicate.